What's up? This is Yuda Benatar, aka Sidebrain, for BeatLab Academy, and this is Sound Recipes number two. Today we're gonna make a future horn sound. Sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, nice. Let's start a new project. Okay, sweet. Uh, I'm gonna delete uh, those three tracks. We only need one MIDI track. I'm gonna open up the browser. I'm gonna go to Packs. And uh, if you have Ableton Live Suite, from the Ableton website, you can download many, many live packs. It's a collection of sounds and presets and clips and projects. Um, from the Ableton website, there is also the Orchestral Brass, which is an amazing pack, gives you uh, brass instruments, mostly for classical music, but we're gonna turn them into something more future, more modern. Um, so I have it right here, Orchestral Brass, I'm gonna unfold it. Right here we have sounds, let's unfold that. And here we have a brass ensemble. We have the individual elements of all the brass section divided here, but we want all of them together uh, under the brass ensemble. We see we have different articulations of how the instrument is being played. Uh, legato long notes, staccato short notes, and let's just load all of them into one rack using the brass ensemble preset. This is what we got right now. Excellent, already pretty good. Let's um, enhance it. We're gonna use only Ableton's built-in devices or free plugins. So the first one, I'm just gonna boost the volume a tiny bit with a saturator. Let's load a saturator. I'm gonna change um, the wave shaping, the saturation algorithm to Sinoid Fold. And I'm gonna boost it like 3 dB, just to give it some more volume. Excellent. Next, let's use a plugin. This is a free plugin from SoftTube. It's called Saturation Knob. Really great to add some brightness or some more grit to your low end. Um, and it's saturated in a really nice way. Let's keep the high frequencies. Let's boost a tiny bit. Nice. Next, let's use another free plugin. Um, a compressor, it's called Bus Driver from Nomad Factory. All the links to the free plugin is gonna be on the blog post, uh, so check out the description uh, under the video. So this is a vacuum tube compressor. I'm gonna boost the tube a tiny bit and compression a tiny bit less. Without it. Rounds up the sound a tiny bit, excellent. Next, let's add a multiband dynamics. We're gonna add a preset called OTT, which stands, stands for over the top. Basically compress the hell out of all the sound um, separately in three different bands of frequencies, and it's compressing slightly less in the mid. Okay, let's take the uh, full amount. It sounds uh, a bit too much. Okay, too squashed. We're gonna take it to about 30%. Nice, without, with, kind of get more brightness because we're boosting, uh, we're squashing all those uh, high frequencies. And w w think about the OTT that it also does upward compression. So we're squashing the sound from all angles. Uh, very useful for any type of uh, EDM or modern uh, music. OTT is great. Excellent. Next, this is where uh, the real magic or the, the real uh, boost for the sound comes in play. And we're gonna use another free plugin. And this is a distortion plugin. It's called Fuzz Plus from Audio Damage. Okay, now just playing it like that might be too much. Okay, pretty good, but too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it into a parallel distortion. So I'm gonna right click on the device. I'm gonna group it inside an audio effect track. I'm gonna open up the chain list. And then I'm going to create another chain by right clicking in the drop area create chain. Let's rename this dry. Let's rename this dist. Excellent. Now I'm also going to add an EQ after the distortion plugin and I'm going to roll off some low frequencies so we don't clutter too much the low end. Now what's happening here is the sound going into the audio effect track getting split up into two then getting both distorted and just bypassing the, uh, the effect track because of this dry chain and thus 
been created with parallel distortion. So we basically get two tracks, one without distortion and one just with distortion, and then we can mix between the two using the chain volume. This is very similar of using return tracks, and you can also put a distortion plugin on a return track and use the send knob. I just want to put it everything on the same track, so then we can group everything and save it as a preset. Now we have this. <laughs> without the parallel distortion, with nice, a lot of energy and power. Um, finally, we can maybe put something else to just limit the audio, just in case we're clipping. Uh, we can use a lot of things for that. Let's use the glue compressor, and I'm going to turn on the soft clipper, um, which will limit and saturate even more a tiny bit uh, the entire signal. <laughs> Nice. Now we have a very fat uh, brass that we can use in many styles, especially with a uh, trap. So uh, if we listen again to the example, I do want to point out that I did use some pitch bend uh, right here to get that uh, pitch sliding with the, the brass. <laughs> Excellent, nice. Uh, you can download this rack for free from the blog post of this video. Just check the description of the video. Uh, I do want to point out that you do need these plugins, okay? They're all free, and we'll post a uh, link to them on the blog post. And uh, that's it, guys.